several wildfires continue to burn across East Tennessee, but today crews made incredible progress to put out those flames. We want to begin in Sevier County where the Weirs Valley fire is. That fire started on Wednesday afternoon. Here's what we know tonight. The fire is 85% contained and has burned roughly 3,700 acres of land. Flames have impacted upwards of 100 homes and other structures. You can see the evacuation map from Sevier County EMA on your screen. The area in pink highlights the evacuation area in Weirs Valley. The markers in blue, you can see a few of those there, represent the shelters for people displaced by the fire. More than 11,000 homes were evacuated because of the Weirs Valley fire. Meantime, another wildfire burning in Seymour is mostly under control tonight. It sits in the hills of Millstone Gap, right on the Blunt and Sevier County line. The good news, fire crews say at the moment, it isn't a threat to homes. They believe the fire started from a downed power line after strong winds. Currently, crews say that fire is roughly 25% contained and is 575 acres in size. And with that, we want to turn to Cassie Knoll now. She has the latest in her forecast, but wind played an incredible role along with the really low dew point and lack of rain. Yes, so as we go through the weekend, that's what we're going to be keeping our eyes on. The reason that we have had that high fire danger for most of this month is not necessarily because we're in a drought, because we're, we're not. We've had really, really dry air in place, and that just sucks the moisture out of the soil and sucks the moisture out of the vegetation. And with that low humidity, it also allows fires to spread quickly. So going into the weekend, tonight we're going to have frost possible across the area. Then winds will be a little breezy tomorrow afternoon, but only gusting to around 20 to 25 miles per hour. So nothing nearly as serious as what we saw earlier this week, but still breezy enough especially with the low humidity that we'll have during the afternoon with the dry air that we still have in place to give us an elevated fire danger for the day tomorrow. So again, no outdoor burning. Most counties are not issuing burn permits at this time, and some cities actually have burn bans in effect. So you'll need to check with your local officials uh, for